Okay, so for this session, what we're going to do is we're going to implement the get. Now, the get that's here right now, what it does is it returns an array of strings, and it just always returns two people. So let's go ahead and run this and see how this looks right now. So if we don't give an ID and we just do a get, it comes back with this array of these these two strings. But we want it to bring back all the data for the table. Now there's obviously some issues with this that you have to be aware of. If you have a lot of records in your table, you're going to have to implement some type of paging mechanism. You're usually not going to want a get to return every single record in the database in a, in a particular database table if there's a lot of them. But we're not going to implement paging right now. We'll just go ahead and implement, um, show you how to get, to get all of them, and then you can work on that as a separate thing. So we are going to use an array list. So here we're going to we're going to do using system collections. We're going to pull that in, and instead of t sending back an array of strings we are going to send back an array list. Um, .NET will take care of converting. Uh, the Web API will take care of converting this to JSON for us. So all we really need to do is get this populated. So to do that, we're going to add a method to our person persistence class. And what this is going to be is called get persons. And I'm going to copy the code from get person. So it's going to be get persons, and it does not take an ID because we're going to return all records in the table. Um, we will be using a collection here as well, so I'm going to go ahead and add that real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and implement our get persons. So uh, we are going to need this, these, uh, these individual person objects. So I'm going to move that down there for just a minute. We, we will go ahead and execute a reader, or get a reader. The difference is, is that we will not put any kind of a where clause on this. So it's just going to return back everything. And so that will actually run fine. But instead of just looking for one, we want to go through a loop for every single one that we have. So we'll put a while statement in here. We'll remove the, we'll remove the else. We're going to return an array list. And what we're going to do is create an array list here. So just call it person array. So we'll create this array list called person array, and each time through the loop, instead of returning p, we will do this with it. We will say um, person array dot add, and we'll just pass in the object. So I maintained all of this code that we already had in place for the get. So you could certainly look at um, how you could c take this code, all of this code, because we're using it all over, over and over again, and put that in a function by itself. And then when we're done, all we need to do is just return person array. Now, if the person array is empty, that's fine. We'll just let it go ahead and return that, and that'll be that'll work out just great for us. Okay, so now in our controller, we are going to simply we need to get us a a person persistence object so we'll put that code in right here and then we can just return in this case get persons and that is all there is to it it's very simple now that we have this framework built so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get now Right, so we want to get, and we don't want to pass in an ID at all. 
and you'll notice now what it does is it brings back all of our different records that are in our database. So now we have a method that we can get a single record or any record or all of the records all at once. And again, you'll want to implement some type of paging mechanism if you do this with a lot of data because you usually don't want to return all the records. Um, okay, so uh, we'll be looking at uh, update and delete in coming sessions, but hopefully this uh, helps you see how you can return all the data.